Hello guys, this is Imanshu from Code Campaign, and we are continuing with our banditry module. So today we are going to discuss about how to count the number of nodes in a binary tree. Okay, so uh, we can do this question in two ways. We'll do this function uh, question in two ways. First, we'll do it in an iterative way, and the second, we will do it in a recursive way. So what we have to do, we have to find how many nodes are there in this binary tree. So uh, if you have seen my previous vid uh, videos on the traversal, so you already know if we have to traverse our tree or a binary tree in a iterative way, what we have to do, we have to do a level order traversal. And to do a level order traversal, what we use, we use Q, right? So this is the only thing that we have to do here. What you have to do, we have to do a level order traversal on this tree. So if you haven't watched the video of the level order traversal, uh, you can uh, click the link which is being popped on the right hand top of the screen. You can click that link and you can go back to the level order traversal. First watch that video and then you can come back here to watch this video. Then you will understand it better. Okay, so let's start uh, doing the level order traversal. So we'll start from the root. So first we'll push our node into the queue. Okay, and uh, what, uh, what we'll do here... Uh, Whenever uh, we are popping the node out of the queue, we will uh, increment one count variable. So initially our count variable will be zero. And whenever we are popping the node out of the queue, we will increment our count variable. Because we have what we have to do, we have to just calculate how many nodes are there into the uh, queue. And whenever we are popping the node out of the queue, that means we are taking a node out of the queue. And that means we need to increment the count of uh, we need to increment the count variable. So this is the start thing. So uh, after pushing one into the queue, what we will do? We will pop one out of the queue. So we will increment our counter. So our count will become one. After this, uh, what we will do? Uh, what we do in the level order traversal? We push the left and the right child of uh, the node that we popped um, into the queue. So the le uh, so the left child of the one is two. So we'll put. So let's put it like this. So we'll put two here and then we'll push six as well. After this, what we'll do, we'll pop two out of the queue. We'll increment our counter again. So this will become two. And then we'll push the left and the right child of the two into the queue. So the left child will go here, right child will go here. Then we'll pop the next element, which is six. We'll increment our counter to three. And then we'll uh, try to push the left and the right child of six. Six do not have any left in the right child, so we'll push nothing. After this, we'll pop the next element, which is three. We'll increment the counter again. Now we'll uh, try to push the left and the right child of the three, but it doesn't have anything, so we'll not do anything. Now we'll pop the next element, which is four. We'll increment our counter to five, and we'll try to push the left and the right child of four. So left child is not there, but the right child is there, so we'll push five into the queue. Now we'll pop the 5 out of the queue will increment to 6 we will try to push the left and the right child of 5 so left and the right both child are not there for the 5 so we will not do anything now our queue is empty and so that means uh, we have the 6 nodes into our tree and if you count here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have 6 nodes into the tree so this is how we are going to do it in a iterative manner if you could not understand it please go back first check the level order traversal and then come back here you will be able to understand this okay now we'll check how we can do it in a recursive way so let's start with the same tree again so to do it in a recursive way if you haven't watched the previous video where i explained the traversals like in order post order pre-order i will highly recommend you go back there watch that video and then come back here um, you can see the pop uh, pop up on the right top of the corner of the screen you can click that link it will take you to the video which you have to watch and then you come back here and watch this um, video again okay so how we are going to do it in a recursive way so what we will do <coughs> uh, what we will do we'll uh, uh, we will apply recursion here and uh, again what we'll uh, we will uh, we will try to solve the smaller problem first. So uh, if you see this tree again, so 
this is uh, we can consider this as one tree we can consider this as one tree we can consider this as one tree right then we can consider this whole complete thing as one tree we can consider this as also one tree and this complete thing as again one tree okay so now let me just erase this so so <clears throat> what we'll do first we'll traverse to the uh, left of the tree until we hit the null so we will come till here now uh, when we hit the null so we will return zero because if uh, if our root is null that means we don't have any node so we'll return zero from here and then we will traverse to the right of the tree and uh, again we will hit here also null so we'll return zero from here right now in this case uh, here what we will do we will we will add the value that we are get getting from the left side and the value that we are getting from the right side and we'll add one to it right so suppose this is the value uh, this is the value that we are getting from the left side which is zero and the value that we are getting from the right side is again zero so what we'll do we'll say we will we are we'll add them and we'll do the plus one here so the value of three will become zero plus zero plus one so three will return one here now we will again explore the right side of two so we'll come here for four we will explore the again try to explore the left side so here it is null so this side will return zero and then we'll go into the right side of four so we'll come here so for five we will try to explore the left side so this side will again return zero this side is also null so this will also return zero so zero plus zero plus one five will return one right then uh, for four the left side was uh, left side is null so it was returning zero and the right side is returning one so four will return zero four will return zero plus one plus one which is two right so four will return two now for two uh, left side is returning one and right side is returning two so the value that two will return will be one plus two plus one four now we'll explore the right side of one so we'll come to six then we'll explore the left side of six which is null so this will this side will return zero and right side is also null so this side will also return zero so six value uh, six will return zero plus zero plus one which is one and then the left side of one is returning four and the right side of one uh, right side of one is returning one so that means the value that one will return will four plus one plus one which is six and these are the number of nodes into the tree okay so i hope now you guys understood uh, the both way the iterative and the recursive way in which we can count the number of nodes present into the binary tree now let's go ahead and write the code for this problem so this is where we left our id in the last video when we write the height of the binary tree so now let's go ahead and write the function for calculating the number of nodes into the binary tree so let's say nodes in binary tree iterative So first we'll again check if our binary tree is empty and if our binary tree is empty then we will return 0 because there will be 0 number of nodes if our binary tree is empty. If our binary tree is not empty then we will do a level order traversal here. So let's take one Q. So we got one Q. Now let's in Q our root node into the Q. Take one 
count variable to keep the count of the number of nodes and then take one okay so now let's we will run into the loop until our queue has at least one element now let's pop the element of the queue so we will dequeue the element from the queue so let's dequeue the element so we got the element out now we, what we would we will do we will increment the count right so this is what we were doing here right oh we have to go back okay so whenever we were popping the element we were increment uh, or whenever we were dequeuing the element we were incrementing the count right so that's what we did here and after that what we were doing we were checking if the left child is not null so we'll enqueue it right so let's enqueue the left child okay enqueued the left child now again check if the right child is also not null so enqueue the right child right okay so that's all we have to do and when after this when the live while loop ends we have to return the count of the nodes okay so now let's go and check if this thing works so or we will say nodes call our core util call this function okay and then print our output So let's comment this one. Okay. Comment this. One. So yeah, number of nodes are six. So what was the output here? Six. So that means a very iterative thing works. Let's pause it. Let's go and then write the code for the recursive manner also. So public static static <coughs> integer nodes in binary tree recursive. so whenever again whenever <coughs> tree is empty will return zero zero nodes then after this what we have to do we have to move so let's go back here in recursive what we were doing here we are moving towards the left right so let's count from left let's move towards the left root left okay and after that after the left function call returns we will move towards right so now let's move towards right and then after this what we were doing we were adding the count of left and the count of right and adding one to it and then returning 
right so now let's go back again to check so here we here we were doing the we were whatever value we were getting from the left side and whatever value we were getting from the right side we were adding both of these and then adding the one and then returning it so this is the same thing that we are doing here so that's all the code for finding the number of nodes in the binary tree let's go ahead and print the output call our core util okay and what is the function recursive root 5 okay so now both of these function calls should print the same value so the output should be 6 yep so we are getting output as 6 from both of the function calls so that's all for this video i hope uh, okay uh, before ending this video let's go ahead and discuss the time complexity of uh, both of these algorithm so in a iterative way as we are using the stack and uh, traversing each and every element right so tra while tra uh, as we are traversing each and every element so the time complexity will be equal to the number of nodes in the tree and as we are using the queue and we are putting all the elements into the queue so the space complexity will also be equal to the number of elements into the tree in recursive manner also we are traversing all the nodes we are going through all the nodes so time complexity will again be equal to the number of elements into the tree and uh, as we already know uh, we are going through a recursion so recursion we use the call stack and the call stack will again store i uh, will have to store all the elements in the worst case scenario so our space complexity will again be o of n or equal to the number of nodes into the binary tree so that's all for this video guys if you like the video please go ahead and press the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have any queries please put it into the comment box i will reply to your comments so that's all for this video see you in the next video again thank you